Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will discuss about the Excel spark lines and differentiate the types of the spark lines in Excel. We will also discuss how to insert and edit as well as different ways to customize spark lines for Excel worksheets. Charts and graphs in Excel are very similar but there is slight difference. All graphs are a type of chart but not all charts are the graphs. Charts cover graphs and are much broader in the scope. You can see a graph is a subset of a chart. Now we define sparkline. A sparkline is a type of chart designed to be compact or small to give a quick representation of a set of data and is normally displayed as a graph without access. And this term was popularized by the American statistician Edward Top. Sparkline for Excel is simply a small chart displayed as a background image in single or multiple cells. So why we use it over Excel charts and graphs? The answer is very simple. Sparklines in Excel provide a very compact overview of a data set to easily spot patterns and trends. And sparklines on Excel helps you avoid the burden of creating complex charts. These are commonly displayed beside the data source but can be shown alongside any text, numbers or values. So unlike graphs and charts, sparklines in Excel have embedded charts in a worksheet and are displayed as a background image within a cell. So when a worksheet is printed, these are printed as well. There are two ways to create spark lines for Excel worksheets. By using the insert tab and the quick analysis tool. So first we will discuss how to add spark line in Excel using insert tab. Select the cell where the spark lines for the Excel worksheet will be displayed. On the insert tab under spark line group, select the type of spark lines. For example, select line. Using the create spark lines dialog box, select the source cells for the data range. And Excel automatically prefills the location range you indicated in step one. And now click OK. Simply drag and drop the spark lines on Excel to the remaining cells. Now add spark lines in Excel using quick analysis tool. Simply highlight the source data set. Then click on the quick analysis button found at the bottom of the selected source data. And Click Sparklines from the Quick Analysis menu and pick the Excel Sparkline type. So again, here we select Line Sparkline. The main advantage of using Quick Analysis is it's easier and faster to access and use with just three steps. Now we discuss the types of the Sparklines. There are three types of the Sparklines line, column, and win loss. So let's discuss the line spark line. The first type of the spark line in Excel is the line spark line and is similar to a typical line chart. It helps you spot trends and patterns in the data instantly by showing how much the source data fluctuates. The line type Sparkline in Excel attempts to answer the question, does data trend upward or downward? So here we have developed our line chart as well. Column Sparkline in Excel are small column graphs. 
or vertical bars that help you quickly compare values across data groups. So similar to the column gr graphs, positive values are plotted above the x-axis while the negative values are plotted below the x-axis. So zero values are not shown. You can see this example. So third type is the wind loss. The wind loss sparkline in Excel is an interesting way to display data at a glance. Visually, it is presented similar to the column sparklines on Excel, but positive values are plotted upward and above the x-axis while negative values are plotted downward. Zero values are not shown. However, the wind loss sparkline in Excel do not present the magnitude of the data as positive and negative values have the same size. So it only shows the win or loss position. We can also customize spark lines in Excel. Using the design tab for spark lines. To access this, simply select a cell containing the spark line Assume you need to make the following changes. Uh, change the color of the line type spark line for each product. Place blue markers among the spark lines on Excel's data points and resize the spark lines in Excel. So format spark lines on Excel. You can change the style and color of the spark line in Excel using the design tab under the style group. You can select the default style from the gallery or pick any color by clicking on the spark line color button. To place markers along with key points of the spark lines in Excel, simply check the markers box under show group And similar to the sparkline color button, you can also customize the colors for the markers and other key points using the marker colors button. How to resize Excel sparklines? Sparklines for Excel worksheets or objects are background images in cell. So these are scaled automatically to fit in the cell. The size of the spark line in Excel depends on the size of the cell. To adjust the width of the spark lines on Excel, change the column wider or narrower. To adjust the height of the spark lines on Excel, change the row higher or shorter. Other way to customize Excel spark line is to change the type of the spark line in Excel. You can easily change the type of the spark line for Excel using two steps. Select the spark lines on Excel worksheet. On the design tab, under the type group, choose the new spark line type. In this example, you are converting from line to column Excel spark line. Grouping and ungrouping spark lines in Excel. Grouping multiple spark lines on Excel comes very handy uh, when you have to edit and update the data source as the changes will be reflected for the entire group. When you add spark lines for Excel in multiple cells, these are grouped instantly. So selecting any spark line from the group automatically selects the entire group. Edit data for the spark lines on the Excel. So there are two ways to edit spark lines for Excel worksheets. Edit data group location and data of the spark line on the Excel. Use this when you want to edit both the data source and the location of a group of a spark line on Excel worksheet. Edit single spark lines data. Use this when you want to edit the data source of a single spark line only.
added missing source data for spark lines and excel missing or empty data points common uh, there are many reasons why this occur failure to update data a change from one system to another working with raw data that was not properly cleaned uh, even management or business related decisions affect data such as closing down of a department uh, discontinue manufacturing take a product out of the market so you can notice the gap when the column type of the spark line for excel worksheet is used so how to handle uh, hidden and empty cells in the spark lines on excel worksheets select spark line to edit on the design tab uh, under the spark line group click the edit data button from the edit data drop down menu select hidden and empty cells from the dialog box select whether to show empty cells as gaps zero connected data points with the line so we will select connect data points and click ok deleting spark lines on the excel using the delete key does not remove spark lines in excel recall spark lines on excel worksheets are background images in a cell to delete excel spark lines follow these steps select the spark lines on excel worksheet to delete on the design tab under the group click on the clear but drop down button clear selected spark line to delete only the selected spark line in excel clear selected spark line groups to delete an entire group of the spark line in excel so at the end the important things to remember when using excel spark lines are that spark line excel can be used in excel 2010 and later versions spark lines for excel worksheets are small charts displayed as background image in a cell and are good tool to quickly summarize data at a glance these should not replace excel charts that provide more details about the data Uh, so excel spark lines similar to excel charts are customizable you can edit style colors types adjust the size add markers and highlight key points and edit the data source uh, so this was an overview about the spark lines in excel to show the trends or patterns of the data thanks for watching Please like and subscribe for more tutorials.